Angelo Matthews is the new batsman. Pakistan getting a wicket off the first legitimate delivery of the power players. Have any loose deliveries? Now this is high. This is a good shot. Didn't time it too well, but he managed to hit it straight. There was a man very wide at long on. Get a couple. So Sohel Tanvil. Now this is better. This is very good. Two bouncers, four. Now that's what Angelo Matthews needs to do. We spoke a lot about uh, Angelo Matthews' talent and ability and what he can do. This is what he can do. Can he make Sri Lanka win from here? There's a possibility, but he's got to play like this. This is how Angelo Matthews plays. Once again, this should go all the way. It does. It's a good shot by Angelo Matthews. Straight over mid wicket. Clean as whistle, isn't it? Beautiful stroke. Lovely stroke. Well caught in the deep. I'm not in control of this now. This might be out. It is. Chandimal, the batsman. Said Ajmal's magic has worked again. Shoaib Malik, the catcher. He's a substitute for Imran Farhat. Youngster played uh, extremely well. Chandimal gone for 31. It's 186 for five. Lasit Malinga has been promoted in the batting order. He has a strike rate of just under 80. Obviously, he's been sent with a license to go after the bowling. This is the whole idea of it and brought in. Nah, it's the one to turn in a way. <laughs> Afraid he didn't want that one to turn. It should have just gone on and hit off stump, but it's uh, just turned a bit. Hello, uh, Russell. Good day. Exciting times. How close was that? Well, he's not going to hang around looking at many more. He's had a look. Lasit Malinga, he's here for a reason. Ah, big shout. Nip back and sliding. And there's the slow death. The finger does come up in the end. And they can challenge if they so wish for a review. But Lasit Malinga not sure of the height. He reckons it's hit him a little high. Now for a word to Matthews. Decides to check that out. And uh, Hawkeye time. And uh, now hitting the top. Umpire's call, and he's already given it. So that'll uh, be an indication that that'll stand. And that uh, our friend, Lassif Malinga, is going to go. Sure enough, Malinga departs for a duck. It's 186 for six. That's gettable. That's how you look at it, Danny. Oh, easy, isn't it? Block a couple, smash a couple, or get an outside edge, just like that. And that's racing away for four. Well, not on purpose, but the, these things will add on as well. Down the track. And has a big heave at it. And a bit of fortune for Matthews. It's another boundary. More importantly, it's the score now. Down to 59. It's almost 200 for Sri Lanka. Yeah, he was targeting over mid-off or to over extra cover because the fielders were in the circle. But it's four. That's all you're after. Shorter one and beautifully played. Lovely stuff. Deft touch. Got to come back for two. And has it gone for four? It has. 
What an absolute bonus because Ajmal couldn't haul it in. 11 off, it's 206 for six. And uh, importantly, be around the wicket. This is the last ball of the previous over where Ajmal made good ground and he should have done better. Well, he got to it, but then he just chops it on, Danny. Where does he go now? Outside off, but a whip. Think about two. Wants it, he's coming back. And it's not a great throw from the old boy, Abdul Razak. He's gone for it here, Mendes. They'll get two because it's Razak again. It's, uh, eight off that over, it's 214 for six. Big shout, big shout, and he's been given! Well, no more review, so he has to go, Mendes. They did go a long way across, Jivan Mendes. When you do that, you know you can't miss it. Fair enough option, though. But a shame for Mendes, he's missed the ball. And a shame for Sri Lanka. It means that uh, it's the seventh wicket that goes down. And uh, Mendes' little gem comes to a finish. He's gone for 19. It's 2-1-8 for 7. And there's Pereira. And I just think uh, maybe he could have come in instead of Malinga. And he's a strong customer. Bowling! Oh! Absolute jaffer! And as he pumped a what in his last over, he strikes. And it's a big one. Real big wicket this. Matthews is running out of partners. Pereira, he gets knocked over for four. That's a big, big blow for Sri Lanka. Just the four runs to him, 224 for eight. Young Pasana it's, uh, just had a handful of games. Precious situation. Third man's come up. Fine leg still up. It's a lovely blow. And it's gone for four. Just what Sri Lanka needed. A yeah, good blow from Sikuge Prasanna. But the skipper. He let it through. It's quite a bit of dew and the ball would have skidded off the ground. Got underneath him. And find the rope that way. So he needs something like that. A bit of luck, Sri Lanka. Slower one. Hoisted away. And it's that man again. Take a bow, side of Freedy. Can't keep him out of the game. And the ninth one goes down for the men in blue. Sri Lanka 235 for nine. Big frame of Dilhara Fernando. And there goes Umar Gul on a victory lap. Oh, big broad smile for Umar Gul, who finishes the job and picks up his third wicket. Big smiles for Mohsen Khan, the coach, and lots of high fives. And uh, big handshakes between each other. 64 to the captain Dilshan and 45 to Sangakara with the big standouts. Chandramal on his 22nd birthday couldn't go on past 31. Uma Gold hadn't taken a wicket in the first two matches. Ends up with 3 for 48 tonight. Pakistan they posted 257 and should have got more. And then uh, Sri Lanka in reply to that 257 could only muster 236.
Pakistan win by 21 runs and lead the series 2-1. to one. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mobilink Jazz Man of the Match will be given away by Mr. Irfan Akram. And today the Man of the Match, Mohamed Hafiz. If we can have a word with you. Many congratulations. Well done. You survived only 10 balls in the first two games, but you made amends. Yeah, it, it was, you know, missing in the first two games. And uh, uh, thanks to all my TLI, you know. And I really want to thank to my sporting staff and the team. They, they really supported me, encouraged me that uh, you can do it. So, Alhamdulillah, you know, th this was a requirement. It looked a good pitch to bat. Well, I think early on it was it, it a was bit hard to time the ball because the ball was stopping a bit. But after that, I think uh, once we spent some more time and get used to of, of the pitch of the, you know, the conditions. So I think Imran, Imran played very well with me and supported me a lot. Tell me something. When you took the ball to bowl at that critical stage, Sri Lanka chasing, what was going through your mind? Well, it was just a, a decision we made that, you know, because the left-handed uh, was batting. So I just thought, you know, the captain just gave me the ball and he said, you know, we want you to, to bowl here in this condition. It was tough, but I think uh, the, the confidence, you know, they given to me, uh, it's really worked for me. Very well done. Thank you for the entertainment. Thank you very much. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, the man of the match, Mohamed Hafiz. Can I now please call upon the Sri Lankan captain, Tilakaratna Dilshan, to have a few words with us. Bad luck today, but uh, you must be happy with your own performance with the bat. But yeah, I'm happy with my performance, but uh, I'm disappointed way uh, we got the start. Uh, one stage we are going really well, but unfortunately, my Sangha's run out and uh, I got dismissal from my bad ball. Uh, that's it. Uh, match is uh, turned on the other side. You must be happy with the way the bowlers bowled. At one stage, Pakistan looked like taking the game away from you. 300 plus looks likely, likely score. Yeah, definitely the way the bowlers come back the last few uh, 20 overs, they bowl really well and stick to 250. I think one stage, 250 is a gettable total, but unfortunately, uh, no luck for us today. Uh, I got out a really bad ball. Uh, I'm, I should bat and finish this game. Uh, then another two batsman, one or two batsmen, just bat another five, six overs so easily. We uh, achieve that target, but I'm uh, within that. So now the next game becomes a must-win game for Sri Lanka. Yeah, every game we have a must-win game. We have this, I think we, we can take the positive thing from this match and uh, play good cricket after one day's time. Everyone looking forward to play good cricket. Yes. Bad luck today, but all the best for the rest of the series. Thank you very much. Sri Lankan captain, ladies and gentlemen, Tilakratha Dilshan. Can we now call upon the winning captain, Ms. Baul Haq. Obviously, Pakistan, very, very popular and you had the crowd behind you. Yeah, of course, it's really good to have such a crowd and I think they supported us well. And I think the team did wonderful, especially the bowlers. I think conditions were not easy. There was due, but I think everybody bowled excellent. Disappointed after the batting performance, after that good opening partnership? Yeah, of course. Um, at one stage, we were looking to just score 300 runs, but at, uh, in the middle over, especially uh, in the power play, it was just, uh, we could not just hold on and just keep on losing wickets. I think that was, that, that was a big blow for us, but I think the bowlers did a wonderful job for us. Yes, at one stage it was very tight and I thought your decision to bring on Hafiz was a real winner. Yeah, of course, he's really a good baller, especially when the ball is skating on and left-handers are there. So, I just, uh, it just came in my mind that I should try him. Uh, so, I just brought him and we, I think, bowled accident um, throughout, throughout the series and especially the openers batted well today. I think everybody, especially the spinners, they just bowled wonderfully. Did you think at any stage that Pakistan could lose the game? I think when only one wicket was down and Sangakar and uh, Dilshan was playing, they were playing well. So at that stage, it's not looking like that they, they're going to just do it easily. But we, we would just have hopes that when one or two wickets we got, well, one or two wickets, it will really, really be a tough uh, situation. And we're just looking to get the run rate uh, over uh, six. Once we just get that, I think then the pressure is on them and then they, they just keep on losing wickets. Very well done today. All the best for the rest of the series. Thank you.
ladies and gentlemen the winning captain ms baul haq so that's it from the presentation area